Madam Premier, the MLA for Fort Gary did not shake your hand during the swearing-in ceremony. Did you have a conversation with him? Does that affect, bother you in any way? No. Are you okay with him um, continuing to uh, to work in his uh, uh, lawyer practice? He said he would continue to do that. Hmm. I think everyone uh, who's been elected by the people of Manitoba should focus on serving the people of Manitoba. Are you suggesting he would not be doing that if he's devoting some of his time to his law practice? I think all of us uh, should understand that public service is more than a full-time job. Is that the reason he wasn't appointed to cabinet? When we put cabinet together, there's so many different dimensions and considerations um, that I would say the biggest challenge we have on our team is the bench strength we have. There are many, many MLAs on our team who, in fact, everyone, I would say, could serve as a minister. But at the end of the day, we made, we made a few decisions. One of them was to shrink the size of cabinet. And as a result, there's some decisions that have to be made about how many people can serve in that capacity. Will you require Mr. Wasiliu to um, give up his law practice? I don't think I'm sharing any news on that today. What, what, what about other MLAs? I mean, they've, been, they've had businesses, they've, you know, professions that they, they continue with. Why, why should he have to give up his legal practice? Well, I think that uh, I'm saying the expectation is first that you will treat your MLA work as more than a full-time job. Did he express any disappointment about not being chosen for cabinet? I typically keep uh, private conversations uh, between myself and the other individual.